Today I want to show you two simple products that would make one million dollars if you execute them poorly. If you execute them well, you could have a billion dollar opportunity on your hands. And at the end of the video, I have a bonus product that everybody needs on a Saturday night. Let's go. Straight in, no kissing. Yes. In recent years, air quality has become a major topic of discussion with the wildfires in California, the smog in Beijing, New York City looking like something out of Blade Runner. And this is particularly true in the US where people are starting to celebrate very small improvements to the air quality in their area. And with remote work, so many more people are starting to work at home, meaning people are starting to monitor the air quality of their houses. For these reasons, and because the subreddit or slash air quality has doubled in the last six months, we think that this is going to be the next major trend. So let's capitalize on it. Here's the idea. Create a smart IoT device that controls the air quality within somebody's home. The device will consist of multiple components that will be bundled depending on the customer's needs. It would consist of an air quality monitor, motors that could help open and close the windows within a house, an air purifier, and a device or an app that will be able to control and monitor all of this. The device could monitor the air quality within a home and say when the CO2 levels are too high, it could open a window to allow them come back to normal. And in other cases where out Outside is worse than inside, it can keep the windows closed to avoid any CO2 coming into the room. And in scenarios where the air quality outside is worse than inside, it can keep the windows closed and use an air purifier to make sure that the air quality levels indoors are optimal. Focus on areas in the US where the air quality is the worst. Start selling there and then move to other markets. Simply charge for the devices and maybe include a few upsells in the app. There is no getting around it. This is going to be an incredibly cash intensive business to start. Start off by raising a small seed round to develop a prototype and thereafter once you've proven the product you can raise a larger VC round to scale. The benefit of doing all this work is that you've now created a moat for your business and there's nothing stopping you from exiting to a larger technology player like Dyson. Typical valuations for hardware companies range from 1.5 to 3x revenue. Question for you, are you ambitious? Well, you wouldn't be watching this video if you weren't. The reason I'm asking is because we have 5,000 ambitious savages subscribed to our newsletter Half Baked. It's the world's number one business idea newsletter. Parkour! It's free, fun to read, and you get two business ideas three times per week. So subscribe below and you get five ideas instantly. In a survey conducted in 2023, 94% of people reported to drink caffeine drinks. Apart from proving that 6% of people are liars, it just shows how dependent our society is on caffeine. But here's the problem. Many people get their caffeine from really unhealthy places like cheap energy drinks, sugary Starbucks coffees, and that Panera super lemonade thing that killed two people because it was so high in caffeine. Allegedly killed two people. It's time to bring a clean, healthy caffeine source to the market. Here's the idea. Create a healthy flavored caffeinated water brand. The product would be some flavored water or sparkling water with some fruit flavorings inside of it, alongside a bunch load of caffeine. And the point here is to make this as clean a caffeine source as possible, apart from maybe black coffee, which very few people drink. Branding here is really key. You could go with the clean energy sustainable route, or you could go a lot bolder and do what liquid death we think the liquid death approach has a much higher chance of success. There are some people who have released products in this market like Water Joe, but no one has cracked it yet. Someone will eventually, so why not you? Start off with an e-commerce store and build off some social proof. Thereafter, move into retail stores where this drink would sell really well. Make each drink for 50 cent and sell it for $3. Online, make sure you sell it in large packs and in retail stores, you can sell it individually. Needless to say, this is not a cheap business to start. You're gonna have to invest in R&D in the product, manufacturing and testing. So raise a small round to start off. There are two ways here to get rich. You hold on to this forever and use this as the first product of many for your drinks empire. The second is to exit to a larger player in the space like Coca-Cola. Everybody needs this on a Saturday night. You see, I guarantee you've probably woken up some Sunday morning regretting that you sent that text the following evening. I know I have. That's why I guarantee an app like breathalyzer here would be a hit. Blood alcohol above a certain level? Nah, you can't send that text. <laughs> Never send a drunk text again. Half-baked. Subscribe down below. That's all for me. We'll see you in the next one. Slant and stay hydrated.